Hello, today I am here with a false policy error when front end application tries to contact with the back end application that is running on another port. So, front end and back end application because they are both running on another ports. We have to set course config in the back end application so that front end application and back end application can efficiently contact with each other so if front end application is sending the request to the back end application and back end application isn't responding it correctly then this error comes access to xml http request at this url from origin localhost port 3000 has been blocked by a course policy response to pre-flight request doesn't pass access control check it does not have http ok status we have to focus on the error that is it does not have http ok status so for http ok status the method used to respond to a pre-flight request in course is the options method a pre-flight request is an http request of options method sent before the actual request to determine if it is safe to send it the preflight request check if the course protocol is understood and if the server is aware using specific methods and headers such as access control request method access control request header and the origin header the preflight response can be optionally cached for request created in the same URL using the access control max edge header. So we have to configure course policies in the background. So if you have already done the course filter in your background, like here I did that, and even after doing this, it was throwing this error that HTTP OK status. It is not receiving HTTP OK status for the free flight request. So even after doing this, I was getting this error. So and and bean set order is set to precedence already. So for solving this, you have to send HTTP OK status explicitly when the options method is detected so for doing this you have to write like this say you have to write like this if request or get method dot equals options then you have to set a status http servlet response dot ok and then your error will be gone and your application will work perfectly thanks